Hey parents, I had a few questions on how the baritone ukulele compares to a six-string guitar as far as chords go. So let's start about the tuning of the two instruments. Baritone ukulele goes E, B, G, D. On a six-string guitar, starting from the very top, which should be the strings furthest from you, goes E, B, G, D, A, E. So you might have noticed that all the strings are the same, we just have an added two strings on the six string guitar. That's an added A and an E. So the baritone ukulele and the guitar are tuned pretty much the same, minus those two strings that the baritone ukulele doesn't have. So let's go through all the chords that we've talked about on the baritone ukulele and look at how they would look like on the uh, six string guitar. All right, baritone ukulele, we have a G chord where we only put our third finger down on that third fret. We play all the strings. On a six string guitar, that same G chord looks like this. We have your second finger all the way on the sixth string, your first finger on the fifth string, and then your third finger down here. Now, if we take away the sixth and the fifth strings, our G chord would look like this, just like the baritone ukulele. So essentially you have to look at all of these chords and subtract the fifth and sixth strings, and then they should look exactly the same. All right, a couple of other chords we've looked at. The G7 chord with your first finger up here. Uh, on the sixth string, again, we have that second and third fingers down. We don't need that for the baritone ukulele. Um, the D7 chord should look pretty much the same on both instruments. Second finger on the second fret of the third string, first finger on the first fret of the second string, and third finger on the second fret of the first string. Should look exactly the same on the sixth string guitar. Finally, we have the C chord. Um, I say this one for last for a reason. The C chord, we just have the one finger down. And if you know it on the six string guitar, it looks like this. That first finger is still there, just like we have in the baritone, but we also have the second finger on the fourth string. Technically, you could do this on the baritone ukulele. And that might be a good uh, challenge for some of your students, is to try adding that second string. The book is just doing what we call a three string C chord, just to kind of make things a little bit more simple. So we just have the one finger down, and we play the three strings. Again, you could put that second finger down and go across all four strings. And on the six string guitar, you would also have that third finger down. So the C chord would look like that. So that should help if uh, you're a guitar player and you want to play with your child on the baritone ukulele. They are essentially the same, minus those lowest two strings. Alright, thanks so much. Hope that cleared everything up.